Products is your tool to keep track of the inputs in your operation. Products in Operations Center Web displays an active and historical record of your varieties, chemicals, fertilizers, tank mixes, and dry blends. Setting up your products online will allow you to plan field work ahead of time and improve the quality of your documentation data. This foundational setup step will also save you and your team from having to spend extra time to manually enter chemicals, fertilizers, seed varieties, and other inputs in the cab. The following access levels are needed to view or make edits to any product, tank mix, or dry blend. These access levels are set up in Team in Operations Center. In this video, we will cover how to add, edit, and archive products, tank mixes, and dry blends. Navigate to the Products tool by going to the Setup menu. Within Products, you will find five different tabs where your products, tank mixes, and dry blends are found, as shown on screen. Products also provides many different filtering and sorting options that allows you to easily narrow down the list of products you would like to see. You may use the search feature to find a particular product or filter by crop type, manufacturer, and more. Search results are displayed in the product list. The products list has headings that allow you to sort by product name, manufacturer, date, and more for easy analysis. Let's review how to add a new product. In this example, we will add a new chemical. Depending on your location, a pre-populated library of manufacturers may be available. If the manufacturer you are looking for is not in the list or the list is not available, you may add the chemical as a custom product. The chemical registration number automatically adds from the library if it's available. You also have the option to manually enter a registration number for detailed documentation and record keeping. There are a few different places a tank mix can be created, which includes field analyzer and setup file creator, but the best practice is to use products. In products, under the Chemicals tab, mark the products from the chemicals list that you would like to include in the tank mix by checkmarking the box next to the product's name. Select the Add button and select Tank Mix. The Create Tank Mix window will appear where you can begin building your tank mix. Enter a name for the tank mix. Note, you can use an existing tank mix to build onto your new tank mix. Check mark the Start with an existing tank mix box and select one of your active tank mixes from your list of tank mixes. You can continue editing your new tank mix after adding in an existing tank mix. Optional. Select the crop or crops that the tank mix will be applied to. This will help you identify and manage tank mixes that may be similar but differ slightly because of the ingredients needed for the specific crop or crops. Input an overall application rate for the tank mix. This rate will allow the system to calculate the specific rates, volumes of the products you add to this tank mix. Input the total tank size of the tank mix. Typically, this number is determined by the size of the tank on your applicator or the total area you are applying this tank mix to. Optional. Add notes to your tank mix. This is a great place to put any additional information that you may want to share via a PDF file to the individual mixing, the ingredients, or operating the applicator. When you select the button, the Select Products window will appear. You can also define what the desired carrier product will be, defaulted to water. Once the desired products have been added to your tank mix, you can start defining the product-specific details, rates, volumes, mixing order in your tank mix. There are two ways to add information to the products. A. Input by application rate. Input a specific rate that is desired for the product to be applied at. B. Input by amount. Input the total amount, volume, of product needed in the total tank mix volume. Note, the non-selected column will be calculated by the other column's inputs and the total tank mix volume. Optional. 
After deciding on an input method and you have input the rates, volumes for each product, you can order the products in a specific order to be displayed on an exported PDF file. Once you have successfully input all the information required to save a tank mix, you can select the Save Tank Mix button. This will add the new tank mix to your active list of tank mixes. Note, if you would like a printout or a PDF file of the tank mix, select the Print button in the lower left-hand corner. To edit an existing tank mix in Products, first, navigate to Products and select the Tank Mixes tab. Two, select the tank mix you would like to edit by selecting the name of the tank mix. Three, the Tank Mix Details panel will appear on the right with the details of the tank mix you selected. Select the pencil button in the upper right corner of the Tank Mix Details panel to begin editing the tank mix. 4. Once you have made the changes you wanted to make to the tank mix, select the Save Tank Mix button. 5. You should now be able to view the changes that you made to your tank mix. The best practice to create dry blends is to use products under the Setup tab in Operations Center. You can use the Fertilizers tab to create, edit, and view your individual products that you can later add to dry blends. You can use the Dry Blends tab to create, edit, and view your dry blends. Note, on Generation 4 and G5 displays, a dry blend can contain a maximum of 20 products. Legacy displays are only capable of utilizing six products or less in a dry blend. In Setup File Creator, any dry blend that has more than six products in it will not be able to be included in a setup file to a legacy display. You will also notice a red warning sign and message next to a dry blend that has over six products. Under the Fertilizers tab, Mark the products from the fertilizers list that you would like to include in the dry blend by checkmarking the box next to the product's name. Note, you will not be able to select any products if you have not added products to your products list. Select the Add button and select Dry Blend. The Create Dry Blend window will appear where you can begin building your dry blend. Enter a name for the dry blend. Note. You can use an existing dry blend to build onto your new dry blend by checkmarking the Start with an existing dry blend box. Optionally, you can select the crop or crops that the dry blend will be applied to. This will help you identify and manage dry blends that may be similar but differ slightly because of the fertilizers needed for specific crop or crops. Next, input an overall area that you plan to cover using the dry blend. This area will allow the system to calculate the specific rates, totals of the products you add to this dry blend. You can also add notes to your dry blend. This is a great place to put any additional information that you may want to share via a PDF file to the individual loading the products or operating the applicator. Select the Add Products button to start adding to your dry blend. When you select the button, the Select Products window will appear. Once the desired products have been added to your dry blend, you can start defining the product-specific details, such as rates, total weight, and mixing order in your dry blend. There are two ways to add information to the products. First input by application rate. Input a specific rate that is desired for the product to be applied at. And input by amount. Input the total amount of product needed in the total dry blend volume. Note. The non-selected column will be calculated by the other column's inputs. After deciding on an input method and you have input the rates and weights for each product, you can order the products in a specific order to be displayed on an exported PDF file. Once you have successfully input all the information required, you can select the Save Dry Blend button. This will add it to your active list of dry blends. Note. If you would like a printout or a PDF file of the dry blend, select the Print button in the lower left-hand corner. Select the Dry Blends tab and select the name of the blend you would like to edit. The Dry Blends Details panel will appear on the right with the details of the dry blend you selected. Select the Pencil button to begin editing. Once you have made the changes you wanted to make, 
select the Save Dry Blend button. If you are no longer using a product or tank mix, you can archive it to hide it from the list. This helps keep your product list up to date and avoid any mixing errors. Select an item to make the Archive button available. To view archived products, select the View Archived filter. You can bring any item out of the archive with the Make Available button. It is important to remember that archiving a product does not remove the product from any previously recorded operations. Using the Products tool, coupled with the Setup File Creator, allows you to send products and tank mixes wirelessly to a machine. You can also use Work Planner to create predefined work plans for your operators and seamlessly send them to Gen 4 and G5 displays. We'll cover both of these options in future videos. In this video, you have learned a few things to help you start managing your products in Operations Center. Thanks for watching.